right now I'm going to do my weigh-in, so, uh, because it's the first day of the challenge. So, tell me I want you to get the number. Can you see it? Today is day uno of the 30 day Mediterranean challenge that we're doing. I thought I would talk a little bit about the basics of what exactly we're doing. It seems like it's hard to find one exact definition, uh, but in general, this is what it's, it is. Um, you eat, you focus on vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, potatoes, whole grains, breads, herbs, spices, fish, seafood, extra virgin olive oil. Um, in moderation, you eat, you eat poultry, eggs, cheese, yogurt. <coughs> you rarely eat red meat, and you don't eat sugar-sweetened beverages, added sugars, processed meat, refined grains, refined oils, and other highly processed foods. Things to avoid are added sugars like soda, candy, ice cream, table sugar, refined grains like white bread, um, pasta made with refined wheat, that sort of thing, trans fats like, like what's found in margarine, refined oils like soy, canola, and cottonseed oil as well as others, um, processed food meats such as sausages and hot dogs um, and other highly processed foods. You're mostly focusing on whole foods. Focus on your vegetables, your grains, your nuts, that sort of thing. It's kind of broad but it also is a challenge. Um, for this first week one of the things that is going to be we're making kind of a caveat for is there are certain foods that we've already purchased that we are going to be eating up. Um, we are still going to be focusing on our veggies, but like we have, we have some yogurt that we had gotten that has added sugar. So we're still focusing on the yogurt, but we're finishing up ones that are, are just fruit flavored. Um, and then moving to regular Greek yogurt that is unsweetened and adding our own things. I've seen place, websites listing that you can use added sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, brown sugar, but just try and limit it. Um, which when it comes to that sort of thing, uh, I don't know that we necessarily use a ton. Like I use a little bit of brown sugar in my oatmeal and I use some honey in my coffee. My plan is to post weekly and talk about kind of some of the things that I ate throughout the week so you can get an idea of like how the diet looks in practice. Since part of this channel is a weight loss channel, I will be working towards losing weight and talking about how easy or difficult it ends up being to use this diet to help me lose weight. At the end of the month, I will tell you how much weight I lost. So I am the my goal is to create a deficit that should allow me to lose about a pound and a half to two pounds a week. So over the course of the month, I'm expecting to lose between six and eight pounds, and we'll see how that goes. So here is my breakfast. Oatmeal with blueberries and some brown sugar, and my coffee with a little bit of honey. As like a late lunch, having avocado toast with lime juice and tomatoes. I'm probably also going to have a yogurt as well. So for dinner, we're doing this really nice Tuscan white bean soup, and I've already added some Parmesan to it. Just got carrots and celery and escarole, onion, broth, white beans, which can't leave these tomatoes, um, and we did. 
do some bacon to give it that extra mommy and also some farm rind to give me both. Yeah, farm rind. Um, and then it's got like parsley in there. Mm, day two, having sauteed peppers, onions, and potatoes with two go freeze eggs. Uh, some yogurt. Mm. So for the second nice dinner, we're having a huge heaping pile of vegetables. And salmon is probably way more vegetables than we actually be hungry for. But um, we're going to eat what to our fill and then package up the rest. And we also did extra salmon so we can put it on our salads tomorrow for lunch. A little bit of an update. I had the overnight oats a little bit later than I would have liked. Um, I'm not trying to eat by when the clock says I should eat, but more when I'm hungry. Um, and ended up eating the oats around 11.30ish, so I'm, and it's a little after 12 right now, so I'm not just super hungry for lunch. But those oats were pretty amazing. Um, I did go ahead and make my lunch. So it's spring mix and spinach with tomato, red peppers, sugar snap, peas, cucumbers, um, and I have some salmon that I was going to put on top but I'm going to eat it on the side. And then I'm going to use this zesty Italian. Just avocado, lime juice, salt, tomatoes, and go for easy eggs on whole grain toast. Okay, so it is day four. It is a Tuesday and Tuesdays are gym day for me. And today's actually double gym day because normally I do personal training on Mondays, but we ended up switching today. So I am gonna have the same overnight oats breakfast for today, and then I am packing a snack for right after the gym. This is what I'm packing for my snack: it has cottage cheese, tomatoes, and French dressing. I know French dressing is a little bit off, but as it's day four, don't want to waste that money. We're doing spaghetti. Bam! We make like huge amounts of sauce with just a huge variety of vegetables in it. Okay, so it's day five. I had spaghetti for breakfast because I'm an adult and I can do what I want. Um, and then I had uh, overnight oats for lunch and then a little bit of a salad and some yogurt. But then I, so I'm at the gym. I'm about to go to the gym and I brought more spaghetti because once again, I'm an adult. I can do what I want. Uh, once I'm done with the gym, I'll have the spaghetti, and then when I get home, I might have like some peanuts or some olives or something. A little snack, because I really want it. It's like I don't know, I'm a cupcake, but I'm not eating those right now. Oh, day six. Feels like it's been one of the longest days of my life, but today was not overly special as far as eating goes. Did over my notes again. Finished the spaghetti, had some yogurt, and dinner, doing this really nice stir fry. Peppers, onions, sugar snap peas, carrots, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, a little bit of honey, lime juice, some lime steak, and then I'm waiting on brown rice to finish so I can put it all together. Two over easy eggs, and this probably doesn't look great, but I'm having sweet potatoes with chili powder which is amazing. Day seven lunch is some stir fry from last night. And we also have an orange and a yogurt to go with it. So it's now Saturday, meaning that it's already been a week and this is technically the start of my second week, but I'm gonna do my weigh-in so that I can show you guys how much I have lost in the first week. 266.3. Well, I mean, that's about how much I expected to lose, so that's good. Um, it was right around 2.1, 2.1 pounds. I just want a Diet Coke and a cupcake. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, I'm gonna leave some links down below with my information like uh, Instagram, my fitness pal, uh, my website, also, next week I am going to be still looking at the food, but also looking at the budget of things. So, something that I would love from you guys is let me know, like, on average, how much are you guys spending on your food per week and how many people you're buying for. I want to look at how we're managing to fit it in for our family, but then also how you could fit it in for 
families with different size budgets. And I will see you guys next week.